Hey there guys, gals, and non-binary pals. So here I am with yet another video. My friend Lindsay at Just Uno Mas challenged me to a collab that she has concocted. This collab is called Ditch the Niche. And the point of the collab is to do a video that's outside your comfort zone, that's not something that you necessarily usually do on your channel, etc. I'm gonna post a link in my description box both to Lindsay's channel and to a playlist where other videos in the collab are going to be listed. That way you could check out Lindsay's video and everybody else's. Today's video is going to be an unboxing. Which, if you're new here, hi, I'm Desiree, aka Mama Friendly, and I literally do unboxings like every other week. So how is this one different? How is this one outside my comfort zone? How is this one ditching the niche? Well, today I am unboxing an arrow garden. That's right, your girl is doing a gardening video. And me and gardening, well, making that connection is almost laughable. I have a penchant, nay, a talent, for destroying anything green that I come across. And so I thought it would be fun to get a machine that basically does the hard work for me, at least in theory. This seems pretty foolproof, but then again, they haven't come across me yet, so we'll see. So I am ditching the niche in that your girl is doing a gardening video. Like who had that on their 2020 bingo? Anyways, I have been inspired by Lindsay both to ditch the niche and to start a little bit of an herb garden. I think it's super cool to be able to grow things and Lindsay is the plantiest person I know. But every time I've tried, it's just, well, you know what? I tried this kind of once before. I'll post a video up here and you guys will see the results. But anyways, as the inspiration struck, I decided yes, an arrow garden is the way to go. I've wanted one for a long time anyways. And so I went on Kohl's online because your girl's not leaving her house. And I got both an arrow garden and pretty much every single accessory I could find. So today I'm gonna unbox them for you. I'm gonna show you guys everything that comes in the box. I'm gonna show you guys all the accessories I got and then I'm gonna actually set it up. That's where ditching the niche comes in. And of course, you're probably going to want to see how this grows, how this develops. Will it grow even? Will I find a way to wreck these plants that are set up in such a way that anybody could grow them? Spoiler, I might. If you want to follow along, of course, make sure to subscribe. And I am doing daily vlogs and have been for all of quarantine. Again, if you're new, I am in South Florida and so our situation is just beginning. So even if you're not in lockdown anymore, I very much am. But in my daily vlogs, I am bound to be showing you guys how these are doing. So I'd love it if you would subscribe and then you can see uh, how I treat these bad boys. Anyways, let's get into the unboxing. How do we open this first off? Can I even do that? Oh, that was simple. We're opening the box. We're opening the box. Welcome to the world of in-home gardening. Are you sure you want me in this world? I'm not even sure which model I got actually. This is the Harvest Elite Slim, which is this super duper guy right here. And these little papers are basically control panel, garden settings. So these are important. I should read these eventually. And oh my gosh, it brings a recipe so that when you're done growing, you can actually make things. That, see that? I'm into. I love flowers and plants and I can appreciate the decorative aspect behind all of them, but I've always been fascinating by gardening and wanted to garden specifically so that I can grow my own food. I appreciate like the practicality and functionality of that. And the ironic thing is, is that both my grandfather and my dad used to have ranches where they grew avocados and cherries and all sorts of stuff. And I just never inherited that green thumb. I think I got like the opposite, some sort of a mutation happened where I just kill all the things. So in here we have our power plug, important, and our little pod situation. So this is interesting, obviously it's in plastic, but it's got a little bit of a control panel down here. And then this is actually, I guess, where the things root, where you add the water and I think supplements, I'm not quite sure, but it's got little holes here so you can put your little pods. There seems to only be room for six. I thought that there would be way more. Maybe it's because it's the slim model. And then our light source. It's actually on some sort of a situation here, almost like a tripod where you can open it and lift it so that as the plants get bigger you can expand the space between them and the light so that's pretty cool yeah I wish I'd thought of that I'd rather not have gotten the slim if I knew that it meant I would have less room for trees not trees plants <laughs> is that all that's in this box surely it must bring plants 
I guess let me open the thing. I don't see the pods though. It's supposed to bring six pods. Okay, so this was actually packaged in the same shipping box, but not in the box of the Arrow Garden itself, which is strange because it actually says everything you need is inside, but this wasn't inside. I don't know. Side note, I guess inside is not necessarily inside, but this is the seed pot kit that it comes with. This is the gourmet herbs kit. So it brings Genevieve's basil, dill, mint, thyme, curly parsley, and Thai basil. It comes with plant food and then six little pre-seeded pods. So it's basically like a cone that's already got substrate and the seeds in it. And then these little plastic domes that go over the top, I'm assuming to keep the moisture in. I guess I'll find out. I'm fully out of my element here, which I guess is the point. And that's everything that comes in the original box. Now to show you guys the other things I got, not much at all, huh? So first off, I got a three pod kit of heirloom salad greens, black seeded Simpson lettuce, deer tongue lettuce, and Paris Island lettuce. Never heard of any of these things, but sure. An heirloom cherry tomato kit. This brings nine preceded pods. All of these come with the pods, the little plastic coverings and plant food. I don't know if the plant food is specific to each kind of plant or if it's just a general plant food, but it's in here. Heirloom salad greens. So this one brings what? Black seeded Simpson lettuce, deer tongue lettuce, red sales lettuce, a marvel of the four season lettuce, rouge de vire lettuce, and Paris Island lettuce. So it's basically what was in the other kit plus. The heirloom tomato kit, by the way, just says red heirloom tomato. So I'm guessing all nine pods are the same thing. We've got a gourmet herb kit. This is nine preceded pods, and this is gonna be chives, thyme, curly parsley, dill, Genovese basil, mint, Thai basil, and Italian parsley. So again, it's everything that came in the original box plus. And then this I thought was most interesting. This is a grow anything kit. So this comes with the little pods. It comes with the covers. It comes with grow sponges. So I guess the substrate is like a sponge. Plant food. It has to be a general plant food because this doesn't come with specific seeds. And that's the point. You can put any seeds in here and I guess use it almost like a seed starter. Now, I wouldn't recommend putting something like an avocado pit in here. I don't think you could even if you wanted to, but I thought this was kind of cool in case I come across some other sort of vine, tree, plant, whatever that I want to eat that isn't included in this, then I could theoretically use these as seed starters and then just replant the stuff outside once it's at a certain point of growth. Look at me talking like anything I put in here is gonna reach a certain point of growth. But yeah, I thought this was really cool that this is an option. So that's everything we got. Now let's set it up, I guess. All right, friends, so our garden is set up. I decided that rather than plant the thyme that came with the original gardening kit, I wanted to put a tomato plant in there. I actually was really hype about this because I saw that the Tim Tracker has one. He had one years ago too, but he decided to bring it back for quarantine. 
and he is harvesting tomatoes off his plant every single day. So that got me excited. The idea that if this goes well, I could literally harvest from this thing every day and eat something I grew myself, that's super cool. So now what remains to be seen is, will it work? So I hope you'll come on back and join me on this journey and, um, uh, Fingers crossed for me, huh? Send me all the green, growy vibes. Thanks so much to Lindsay for setting up this collab. This was a lot of fun and it pushed me to do something that I otherwise probably would not have done. So I am very grateful for that. Make sure you guys check out the links in my description box to see more fun videos along the same vein. What's something that this lockdown has pushed you to do that you didn't think you'd ever get to do? I'd love to hear from you all, so let me know in the comments. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope you'll please give it a big thumbs up. I'd also love it if you would subscribe and click that notification bell because I post at least three times a week and I wouldn't want you to miss a minute. Thanks so much again for watching. Bye.